Pisces, you are up for the September. I don't know why I was about to say August. <laughs> I guess because we're still in August, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> Maybe something happened in August. You're up for the September money. Tarot energy reading. Before I go any further, KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. Now, the general reading is already up for September Pisces. Also, the love reading is already up for September. The new moon in Virgo for the collective is up as well. Um, I'll probably do the full moon in Pisces, which is happening in September. I'll probably do it next weekend, I think. So yeah, we'll see what happens. But probably next weekend, I'll do the full moon in Pisces happening in September. Whatever reading you decide to watch or listen to, Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just a person sitting here reading the energy and the tarot cards. You know your story better than I ever could. All right, now, I'm going to start with my Law of Attraction money deck and pull a card. But before I do that, while I was shuffling, the energy that I got was some of you need to put a pen in your hand and start writing your story. And now I'm hearing something else. It's saying stop being reactive and start being more proactive. And again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. But that's what I'm hearing is that for some of you, it's almost like something happens and then you're reacting to it versus sort of thinking ahead and being like, okay, well, let me go ahead and plan for this or let me plan for that. Or if there's a goal, Instead of waiting for things to line up just right, you may want to check and see what could possibly be done to help expedite the process. Now, if it's not going to move, it's not going to move because some things are based off of divine timing. However, you're going to know if it's divine timing or not, because if you're being proactive and it just isn't making any headway, more than likely there is something divine about this. If you're starting to see, oh, wow, okay, I got some results. Now I can move a little bit further forward. Then you know, all right, but that's what I'm talking about. Also, some of you need to literally, not metaphorically, some of you need to literally put a pen in your hand and start writing out your life, like what you want your life to be. You, some people have vision boards. Other people, they just write in journals. Some of you may need to start journaling of the things that are going on in your life, but also where you would like your life to be. You could put something in a notepad and be like, you know what? This is my one-year plan. This is my two-year plan. This is my five-year plan. This is my 10-year plan. And just start writing things down like what you want to happen in one year or in two years or in five years or in 10 years. And, and actually doing that to put it to, I was going to say to put it in existence, but there's something else. To help Get the energy out there, too. And also, when you have it written down, if you ever go back and look at it, it will remind you of, oh, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. This is what I'm supposed to be working on. All right, so that's my little pre-shuffle energy. Let's get into this. This will be a short reading. May I have the energy for Pisces for September? Energy for Pisces for September. Energy for Pisces for September. What is it that Pisces needs to hear? What is it that Pisces needs to hear? What is it that Pisces needs to hear? May I have a card, please, for Pisces? Thank you. All right. What do we have here? We have, I can follow the trails of good feeling thoughts. I can follow the trails of good feeling thoughts. And it says on the back, 
Most people have put anything that earns money in the category of the things that I love or no, the things that I have to do. And that is why the money often comes so hard. If you are wise enough to follow the trail of good feeling thoughts by deliberately looking for positive aspects along your way, you will come into vibrational alignment with why you really are or with who you really are and with the things you really want. And once you do that, the universe must deliver to you a viable means to achieve your desires. So it's saying, and I'm going to read this again. If you are wise enough to follow the trail of good feeling thoughts by deliberately looking for positive aspects along your way, you will come into vibrational alignment with who you really are and with the things you really want. And once you do that, the universe must deliver to you a viable means to achieve your desires. Now, what this is talking about is what I was just saying. This is the thing of you writing out your life, saying what you want. In addition to that is focusing on the positive things on the journey towards your goals. Because, and I, I'm going to talk about this later on. I think I might do it as a daily thought. But I, when I went to, for those who know, I went to the DMV or the DPS or whatever they call it in Texas. I, don't, I still don't know why they don't call it the DMV, but whatever. But I went to get my driver's license. And on my way there, I passed this auto shop. And I looked at what it had on the sign outside the auto shop. It, this was the actual auto shop as in fixing cars. I kid you not. So I look to my left, I'm looking at the sign, and I'm like, well, wow. And I started laughing because it was true. It, the sign said, if mountains were smooth, you wouldn't be able to climb them. <laughs> I kid you not. It said, if mountains were smooth, you wouldn't be able to climb them. And I was like, that's true. So, for those of you who are looking to get to the top of a mountain, clearly, you will have obstacles. You will have challenges. You have to have challenges in order to give you something to grab onto to boost you up the mountain. But if the mountain was smooth and you didn't have any resistance or anything to latch onto or any type of challenges, it would make it hard to get up the mountain because it's smooth. So... Yeah, focus on the positive and, and do that. Now I'm going to take a few, I'm going to set this over here. I'm going to take a few tarot cards and we're going to wrap this up. Let's see what's going on. May I have the energy for Pisces for September in regards to money? May I have the energy for Pisces for September in regards to money? May I have the energy for Pisces for September in regards to money? What is it that Pisces needs to hear? What is it that Pisces needs to hear? What is it that Pisces needs to hear? I feel that Virgo season will be very significant for some of you. Also, something just said to me, because one of the cards that came out during the pre-shuffle was the Magician, which is Mercury Energy, which is um, ruled by Virgo. And I feel, going back to the writing things down, I feel that will increase your power of manifestation. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. May I have a few cards, please? Thank you. May I have a few more cards? Thank you. Interesting. That's why this message is coming out. I'm going to tell you in a minute. I'm waiting for... Wow. 
And that, you know what? I'm going to take all of these. I'm going to let those drop. At the bottom of the deck is strength, which is Leo energy. Some of you need to tap into your strength and, and learn to do that. Some of you need to learn how to believe in yourself as well. Some of you may be traveling. And I'm looking here. Okay. The way I'm looking at this. Some of you are having a hard time. With the five of pentacles and the four of pentacles. Um, part of the reason that some of you are having a hard time is because you're holding on to old ideas. Or holding on to habits that don't serve you. Just throwing that out there. Pentacles is earth energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. You could have that in your chart or be dealing with that sign. Five of Pentacles is about, um, it can relate to health, but also it can relate to being left out. It can relate to having lack of funds as well. But this is the thing. You have the Four of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles here. Four of Pentacles plus the Five of Pentacles is, is the Nine of Pentacles. Now, I feel like some of you want to be an entrepreneur, but you don't, you haven't developed the strength to actually take a chance. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. For others of you, I feel that you may just be in a situation that is related to work or career where you want more independence. You, you feel like you don't have the independence to do the things you want to do. For others of you, you might feel like you're codependent on someone. And I just heard someone might be holding that over your head. Like I'm trying they try to make you feel bad sometimes because you have to ask them for something. Or whatever. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But that's what it is. Um, that's, that's what came to me. Um, going back to this, but I feel like independence is a really big thing here. Good news is, is that the full card is here, which is a new start, new beginning. Also, the King of Wands, fire energy, is here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is taking charge energy. As well. This is also entrepreneur um, entrepreneur energy. Too. And then you have the ace of pentacles. Is what you have. So that is a new blessing. A new gift of some type of stability. Or something that will help you in the 3D. Because pentacles deal with the 3D. Now. The queen of cups is here. Some of you might have um, cancer in your chart or some other type of water signs in your chart as well. You could also be in this energy or this could be telling you to listen to your intuition. Some of you could be working with a female figure, possibly maybe an older female, or it could be a male in Queen of Cups energy. I feel there may be some type of collaboration because Three of Pentacles has come out. And this is usually about collaboration, working with others, being recognized for the work that you do, contracts, and other things is what it can be recognized for. I really believe, and something just told me, for some of you, you need to listen to your intuition when you're dealing with other people. There may be people who want to come into your circle or try to befriend you. And also, especially if there's some type of talent that you have or some type of idea be sure to use your discernment, your intuition when dealing with people because not everybody is someone that you may want in your circle. On the other side of that, instead of being in a default of just shutting people down, you may want to actually try to tap in more to your intuition and be like, okay, before I just automatically shut this person down, let me see if I can get a feel for them to see how they are. Because if you're shutting someone down who actually may be good for you that you could collaborate with that could help bring some of your goals or dreams to life, then that's blocking you is what it's doing. But like I said before, with the Fool and the Ace of Pentacles, this mentality that you have, if you alter it, it's going to change. Again, I really feel this is about putting a pen in your hand and writing your story. And believing that it's possible. That's what I'm getting. 
And that is your message. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. Until next time, Pisces, be blessed.